Oh, nu tā ir viena burvīga dziesma, pasaules slavenākā, populārākā, visvairāk klausītā, visvairāk atskaņotā dziesma. Un tā, protams, ir Beatle Yellow Submarine. Bet interesants fakts ir tas, ka šī dziesma ir sarakstīta kā bērnu dziesma. Beatle rakstīja arī bērnu dziesmas. Tāpēc viņa arī tāda diezgan vienkārša melodija, vienkārša teksts, bet ar to pašu viņa ir nenormāli lipīga, labskanīga. Manā ģimenē ir ienācis jauns bērns arī. Mēs pavadām šo festivālu kopā ar jaunāko dēlu Ursu, tad, protams, bērnu dziesmas mums patreiz arī ir īpaši aktuālas. Tur kopā aiz muguras celtanā zemūdene, un visi laipni lūk dzīvot kopā ar mums šajā zemūdene. The song is uh, AHA, the Norwegian musical group. It's quite, it, quite, it was quite popular maybe in 80s, something like this. Take on me. Take me uh, what I like the most it's a video clip of this song. So I was like watching when I was a kid and it stuck into my head and that's why I chose the, the, the song. I travel for a living for the last 40 years of my life. I go all over the world. So my life is a constant road trip and the ultimate road trip song is Get Your Kicks on Route 66. And I've always remember listening to it as a kid and daydreaming about traveling the open road and the freedom that it brings and so that's what inspired me to do this one. I have the song 99 Luftballon from Nena and it inspired me because when I heard it I always was singing it and it's about uh, like a girl that puts up many red balloons like 99 and then they are going over the Berlin Wall and on the other side they think they are, it's an attack on their country. So they, they put a squad of uh, airplanes and then they bomb the red balloons. So it's about lost dreams, like it's something beautiful and then, yeah, it's gone. My work, uh, name is the November Rain. The band is the Guns N' Roses, but uh, I made a uh, uh, guitarist and uh, Slash. His uh, style, hair and uh, glass, and never changing all his life, and everybody know. Okay, this is Slash. This is Alejo Diasmo. We are the world. Velti jums daudziem notikumiem pasaulē man skulptūra drošēna ir mana vēlme atgādināt mums katram par to iekšējo bērnu, kurš varbūt nav reizēm tik priecīgs, kur vajadzētu biežāk iepriecināt, lai arī mēs, kad pieaugušie, varam iepriecināt citus. Es esmu izvēlējusies trīs tēlus, trīs meitenītes šoreiz. Būs viena afrikāņa tipa meitenīte, āzieša tipa meitenīte un eiropiete vairāk tāda. Un, Jā, viņas tā kā simbolizē arī ne tikai vienu kaut ko, kas pārstāv, bet arī nu, dažādas vienkārši šīs te rases un uh, vis, visu pasaules gribēja iecert. Un gluži kāda dziesmas no saukumā. Nu, man šogad ir um, skulptūra, kas saucās šūpuļdziesma. Pat cik ir pasaules hiti un saistībā ar mūziku, tad es izvēlēju uz šūpuļdziesmu. Protams, ļoti personiskiem es vadīt saistībā ar savu mazo bebīti. Un, uh, es izvēlēju uz konkrēti mūsu pašu Aijā Žužu Lāču bērnu. Paskatoties internetā, es atradu tādu informāciju, ka viņi ir iekļauta pasaules top desiniekā, skaistākās pasaules šūpuļu dziesmas. Tā kā mēs varam lepoties un saviem bebīšiem dziedāt. Sculpture I'm making is about uh, the song by Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall. It's about uh, fight against oppression, any kind of oppression or authoritarianism. Even if it's from the late 70s, I think it's still uh, a valid song nowadays. Of course, the wall has to be there. And then there's the teacher, which is this character, which is a little bit scary and crazy. And uh, actually, uh, this teacher is squeezing children into a machine that uh, turns them into meat. Also symbolize this abuse of power uh, over uh, people. Man izvēlētā dziesma ir I want to break free, jo tieši tajā brīdī, kad zīmē skits, tā es arī jūtos. Nu jā, un man liekas, ka vajag ļauties tam brīdim, kad tev atnāk tā sajūta vai iedvesma, un es arī ļaujos, un, un tas būs laikam stāsts par to manu brīvību. Tāpēc ir sievietes tēls, varbūt aligoriski kā, kā es, un fonā ir papīja lidmašīna, kas patiesībā izskatās kā mūris. Skultūras pakājais 
ceru uztaisīt daudz mazas papīra lidmašīniņas, kuras ir kā cerība, ka tomēr nu, varbūt kādreiz izdosīt. Well, this is the, the band that I like from my childhood. That's why I chose it. So it's the Depeche Mode, Enjoy the Silence. And the song has uh, many meanings. Sometimes it can be controversial. It is about words and that words are unnecessary, that words are doing harm, that words are forgettable, so sometimes it's better not to speak. I'm trying to express this, this both ideas about uh, words and about looking for something. I grew up with uh, reggae music, especially Bob Marley. I like him so much. It's like a prophet maybe for me, inspiration in many ways. I choose this song, No Woman No Cry, because it's, I guess, one of the songs that the most people misunderstood the meaning about it. It's a Jamaican kind of English style, it's, it just means no woman no cry, which just means no woman don't cry. But he's singing about the poverty in his country. This goddess, the three goddess also is the goddess of wealthiness, so like a, it's also the when people pray to her, when people need a wealth, they go out from poverty, they pray to this one, this deity. So. This song know everyone. Somewhere over the rainbow, you know. You know this song. Oh, 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 oh. like this. <laughs> I, I listening uh, metal. <laughs> well, this song uh, touch my heart. <laughs> It's cool, <laughs> I, I like it. <laughs>